Hello everyone, welcome back to Kiran's English Hub. So we are continuing with the summaries of 9th class English. And in this video we shall go through unit 3, reading C, homework. Okay, so very very important uh, lesson here. An important topic for all the students. And also sometimes it is some hard working task for the students also. Okay, so as homework is the only choice or the only way to give the children to learn something independently so we have separately got a whole uh, reading for the theme the only thing homework here okay so i uh, hope you would understand the importance of homework okay so in this lesson we are going to see all the effects okay of uh, homework effects that uh, even cause the positive results and also negative results okay so Please be very conscious uh, while I'm going through the lines here. Yeah. Homework. So homework has historically been given to the students to reinforce what they learn at school and ultimately to help them to learn the material better. Okay. So homework is just like historical thing. So since our, our teachers, our parents, teachers, their parents, teachers. Okay. So... It is just like a, a family, a generation, you know, process. Okay. So, all the students who have studied, okay, in the schools and all, of course, it is a familiar thing to everyone. Okay. So, it is given to the students to in, uh, reinforce. Okay. So, what do you mean by reinforce? Just like make a feeling or an idea stronger in the sense. For example, if I give you some homework of one paragraph to learn this paragraph, so when you make it as a homework and learn it, it will be strong and as a strong idea in your mind. You will not forget it sometimes, okay? So because of homework, some particular things, particular um, problems, particular answers will be fixed to your mind, okay? Next. So what they learn at school and ultimately to help them learn the material better, okay? So material in a sense, what are the questions and answers are there for you? So that would be so much better for you to learn, okay, through the homework. Next. However, too much homework is not helpful and can be counterproductive, okay. So what do you mean by counterproductive? Like, just like having opposite uh, effects, okay. So when there is too much homework for a student, okay, so that might be causing some um, opposite effects which are not at all good for the students, okay. So excessive, excessive in a sense more. Excessive amounts of time spent on completing homework can take away the kids' school life, family time, and it limits their participation in sports or other activities, okay? So, excessive amounts, in a sense, more time, okay? So, for example, one hour is the limitation for any student. For example, we just think like that. So, excessive, in a sense, like two hours, three hours, if that much of uh, time homework is given to a student, that becomes excessive. So, because of that, uh, you know students social life okay so you all know what is social life social life is in the sense just like mingling with all his friends communicating exchanging of ideas so all these type of you know social life will be disconnected even family time also will not be there and it limits their participation in sports and other activities okay so few students they keep all the sports periods also sports timing also aside and they do their homework fearing of the teacher okay so excessive homework must not be given so the amount of homework a teacher has to give is to a student should be restricted okay so what do we are restricted like concise shortened decreased okay so whatever the homework that is given to the student okay that should not be more it should be concise it should be very little okay not more some teachers what do they what do they do uh, they just like you know for example uh, there are 15 questions okay so for example take math okay if there are 15 problems they just simply teach one or two uh, problems in that lesson and they give rest of all the problems to the student as a homework and that becomes more burden to the student that should not be there teacher should teach minimum 10 problems there and rest of the five can be given as the homework okay so that limits the size of the homework of, of the student and he can enjoy his later life, uh, you know, later uh, the timing, whatever he has after the school. Next. 
Critically acclaimed author Tamin Ansari reports that since 1981, the amount of homework given to an average sixth class child has increased by more than 50%. So, there is an author, critical, uh, you know, he is a critic. Okay. So, that is Tamin Ansari. He reports that since 1981, whatever the amount of homework that is given to a sixth class student that is increased uh, by the present census it is increased by more than 50 percent just imagine for example in 1981 since 1981 for example in those days if like 15 minutes of uh, homework is given to the student now more than 50 percent in the sense okay so nearly uh, half an hour homework is given so if it is one hour in those days now just like two hours it is given okay so completely increased so many people claim that the increase in homework dates as far back as 1957 so the new completion that competition that emerged served as an incentive for schools to try to increase the volume of the curriculum the amount of work increases with the increase in class okay so of course for example, if you are a second class or fifth class student, you will have only little uh, homework to do. But if you are ninth class and tenth class student, it is obviously more. So from class to class, your, your size of homework also will be increased. And also, the new competition, whatever the competition that is there in the present days, you know, it is giving more challenges to the students, and it is making more competitive and more, you know. Uh, uh, you know concentrated uh, to make so much of concentration on the subjects and because of that students are also even taking part in that as the part of homework and that you know increases their time that they are spending on the homework particularly okay next many teachers defend large amounts of homeworks claiming that it helps to prepare students for a world that is becoming increasingly competitive so many students uh, many teachers what are they saying no 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 this is not good to give less homework so when a student is given more homework a student can learn so much since it is very much competitive uh, presently so student should do should be doing more homework so that he can learn more okay however dr kralovic author of the end of homework okay so this dr kralovic is an author who has written the end of homework the end of homework he argues that doing homework during high school has little or no effects on successful study study skills of the students when they join college so when they do some little bit of homework in the school level okay during the school level if they do little bit of you know homeworks and all so there there should be there will be no effects okay and successful study skills of the students when they go to the colleges okay so if you don't do any homework in the school level when you go to the college if they give you any problem or any homework you know they don't even suggest you to do like that the colleges are completely different nowadays okay so they don't give you any type of suggestions also so it, it has become just like self-learning okay so it will be so much burden for you when you go to the college if you don't learn how to do the homework or uh, you know how to solve the problems and all in the school stage itself next excessive amounts of homework can be harmful to kids both physically and mentally of course excessive in the sense more okay so if you if any more homework is given to the students so it is it will damage their uh, you know mentality both mentally and physically okay so they will be disturbed very much because they have to think 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 and do the problems homework and all even they will not be you know going out and playing with the friends and all so because of that you know they will be losing their immunity okay their activeness in their life okay so it affects overall um, uh, mind of the children next a lot of homework usually means a lot of books to carry of course okay so if there is only two subjects homework today you will be carrying only two books to home if there is 10 uh, subjects or six subjects homework is there you have to carry all the books to home okay so 
that means you are you will, you will have to carry more books to home when there is more homework okay next 55% of the message sets and institute there is an institute in the usa children as per the survey by researchers of simmons college carry load severe than 50% of their body weight okay so according to this survey who have the those researchers have done survey on the school children and the thing they found out is so the students are carrying more than the 50% of their average weight as the books in their homework or whatever the books that they are carrying okay next which is suggested which is the which is the suggested limit okay so that is actually suggested limit so they are almost crossing that limit okay next carrying large amounts of weight daily at a young age can do a lot of damage because bones are still in development stage okay so so much of you know weight or so much of carrying of loads of books must not be done by the students okay so they should be taken care of um, by the parents and also they should be observed by the school management okay because if students carry more books it will be so much of burden to them and of course uh, still their bones and muscles are in just developing stage because of that heavy load they might make some damage to the developing bones next the us consumer products safety commission has reported that in 1999 more than 800 kids were treated in emergency wards for backpack related injuries okay so there is a commission that is reported in 1999 that more than 800 kids more than 800 kids so they have surveyed that so 800 kids okay nearly 800 kids uh, for a year like that they were treated in emergency wards for back pains and all okay since they carry loads of books on their backs so they get back pains and all next many of these injuries can lead to serious problems later in life including uh, chronic shoulder neck and back pain so these type of pains might long very much you know uh, uh, they'll uh, they might last very long in their life throughout their life okay so in future even after completion of the school in the college time or while doing the job and all they might uh, get these pains back okay so there is so much of problem because of this heavy weight and all next the large amount of homework is causing students in both high school and junior high school to be up till midnight or later okay because of heavy heavy homework because of a lot of homework students are you know just keeping awake okay they are not sleeping at all till midnights even after the midnights okay so even me myself i also not in the school time but in the college time and all because of some homeworks and all or even during the exams i used to stay up to the 12 one o'clock like that so the damages you know the mind mentality and all okay so our psyche okay or uh, mental ability will be little bit less we will not be able to concentrate more when we don't take proper rest so when extracurricular activities such as sports clubs etc are added to the picture kids may even have to wake up early in next morning to finish their homework leaving them with an insufficient amount of sleep and even if students have like co-curricular activities sports okay clubs etc so because of all those things at home and uh, at a, a school after the school and all so they will not have so much of time okay so because of that uh, they will get so uh, so early okay so if there are any co-curricular activities they have to get up so early they have to rush to the school okay so they don't finish their homework sometimes sometimes they do homework so much in rush because of all these things they don't sleep in the night early and they get up so much early in the morning okay so because of that this uh, this process it damages all these homework process damages their sleep some pa some parents and teachers argue that it would be beneficial to a child's academics to limit after school activities however cutting the time out of the few hours a week teenagers use for exercise could be a factor in the growing obsessive obsessive 
cases okay so even um, some teachers even some parents and they argue that it would be very much good to the children if uh, their academics okay so whatever they study is limited okay limited in the sense little bit not more after the school don't give more homework so whatever they study in the school that is okay don't give so much of homework to the uh, children after the uh, completion of the school okay so because of that it damages uh, their mental and physical uh, ability and all okay and then a uh, few more uh, people think that you know um, because of this homework people are not able to students are not able to engage themselves in the exercise uh, uh, things and all okay so the exercise sports and all so because of that uh, you know they simply sit in one place they do the homework they complete the homework but because of that they are not moving their body and it will obviously cause for the obesity cases okay so more fat and all so in the future that might be a problem for the children if they increase their fat levels next the number of children who are overweight has doubled in the last two or three decades okay so number of these children who are overweight so it is also doubled so now just simply check out the i'm not um, you know just showing the love uh, you know negating the love of the parents but just imagine the weight of the students who are right now presently in the schools okay right now in the presently in the schools okay so almost 50 to 70 percent of the students are overweight okay next currently one child out of five is overweight okay at least one child out of five is overweight presently next these children are faced with more problems in school so these children uh, you know usually face so much of problems in school instead of learning and concentrating on their work many children are developing low self esteem and even depression because of teasing so if any one fellow is so much of fat in one class so what happens so all the other children will treat him uh, abuse him okay tease him okay so it usually happens in the classrooms that is the mentality of the children at their age so because of that type of teasing and all these children uh, you know get into depression the, these obsessed uh, children and all so that is also another big problem next the cases of obesity are growing more certainly due to lack of physical exercise so due to lack of physical exercise lack of in the sense since there is no much physical exercise and all these obesity cases are increasing with more and more homework being assigned kids simply do not have enough time for proper amount of exercise so when more and more and more and uh, amount of homework is given assigned in the sense given to the students children so they lose their more 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 time to play so because of that they obviously increase obesity they will not have time for exercise and all okay so give less homework okay so next homework also takes away the time that a kid could be spending with his or her family so most important thing so when more homework is given to any kid obviously the kid has to go and sit in one place and uh, complete his homework until he completes his homework he it is not possible for any student or any kid to speak with his mother or father or whoever is there in the family so because of this they uh, some type of you know uh, the caring and the love will be fading okay so rather than spending time bonding and building strong family relationships parents and children argue over their homework so of course parents also take a lot of responsibility to complete the homework of the children yes or no some parents they do by themselves okay so they get some irritation with the uh, their kids when they don't do the homework and they start doing it so because of this even the arguments also takes place okay between the children parents and all next time is taken away from important aspects of daily life okay time is taken away from the children because of the homework next this time is particularly precious in families with both the parents working okay so uh, in the families like where both parents are working so that is much more important okay 
so the parents come to home like 7:38 in the evening and this kid uh, you know completes his doesn't complete his homework by that time so because of that they will not even have time to share their love and affection they don't even have they will not even have time you know to spend like jolly time okay so that is very important that is uh, you know just vanishing so the time spent by such parents with their children is limited okay so there is no much time uh, that the parents are spending with their children like this okay next this time could be better spent going out to dinner as family or doing other activities that the most families are not able to do because the kids don't have time to take a break from their homework schedule so when there is less homework given for example if two hours of homework is being given nowadays so if you give at least one hour of one hour of homework to a student so another one hour is there so that time can be spent with the parents and all the kids can spend that time with the parents going out somewhere for the dinner just chilling out and all so but if there is no time like that so the parents have to sit in home and kid has to sit in home doing the homework they will not even have a proper communication they will not even have proper arguments and all so it is completely disturbing the family uh, situation next when assignments are given carelessly and frequently it causes students to lose interest in the subject so if the, if if you keep on giving continuous assignments 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 that will obviously cause some type of disturbance in the kids mind and the kid will lose the interest in that subject so do not make like that next negative results also can occur when a student is not able to complete his or her homework okay a negative results in the sense for okay for example the, ch the child might start lagging okay the child might start hurting himself because of not doing the homework and uh, he might give the uh, you know um, a reason as he got hurt and because of that he could not do so there are children who are you know more hyperactive in, in the present days okay and they are you know just lying so much okay giving so many difficult reasons to solve them okay so these are the negative effects when more homework is given more assignments are given next many times they will resort to copying the homework the first problem when there is homework or more homework is given he will lose his uh, lose the control over his mind to do the homework so because of that he will lose the interest to do the homework by himself and he will call his friend and uh, hey buddy did you do the homework he just send me pics in whatsapp so he will just send the pics and this fellow will copy and uh, take them to the teacher so because of that the self learning will be so you know stop that okay there is a full stop on self learning okay that should not be there so having others to uh, do their assignments okay so sometimes uh, if any of a friend has completed the homework previously so we call them say i have more homework can you do uh, that fellow will say ah, okay send me half of the homework i will do so this fellow will do half that fellow will do half so obviously here also there is uh, that is causing some problem next or cheating in tests okay so even cheating in tests also will be the more dangerous problem okay so bad habits such as like these are likely to haunt kids throughout their lives and have an adverse effect on their moral judgment so children you know when children do these type of things like copying from other uh, and uh, cheating during the test and uh, giving half of their homework to the friends and all these type of things it will impact the students minds later in their life so when they grow up and uh, just when they think back you know about their uh, childhood and all they might feel guilty of uh, you know their growth in during their childhood okay so this sh this type of mental problems must not be there to the students when they grow up so to do everything in a good way we should not do uh, or we should not give more homework to the students the teachers okay next students will almost always take the easy way when it comes to homework so students they always want to take the shortcuts to complete the homeworks right so they don't want to take you know uh, the homework in a lengthy process they want to do the shortcut homework so, uh, 
the first thing is they might copy second thing is they might even miss some lines between the paragraphs and write okay they might copy from the students others okay so they might write very fast with ugly handwriting so these are all the effects that will be arising when student is given more homework next the use of homework is effective when used by the rule less is more so when this type of rule is applied uh, to the homework what is that less is more okay so when this type of rule is affected so that will give some positive results next overwhelming kids with loads of homework can cause them stress and possible physical injury so there are some students okay so when there is lot of homework and all and uh, it may cause them stress okay so when they when they have some stress like they might hurt themselves okay i told them previously they might hurt themselves so physical injury is also possible when students get stress okay even when they get stressed they might shout on their parents if they don't self injure injure also parents will injure them okay so when they shout towards the parents parents might beat those children okay so that is going to be all uh, negative effects when there is homework next homework takes away from the small amount of time kids get to spend with their parents and siblings so whatever the little little time is there available that is the time that is available to the kid uh, to the kids and all uh, which is supposed to be spent with their parents and siblings so that little bit of time is taken away because of the homework okay next a limit on their physical and social activities can also take a large toll on their lives and could hinder their health and future relationships okay so hinder in the sense you know difficult okay to make it difficult some, for somebody to do something so at present when the children when their kids when they are small if they are more interactive with the parents siblings and other society okay after the school and all so in the future if they get some type of problem they will be able to handle it but if they are not allowed to go out and they are if they are only given so much of homework and do 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 then they will be only focusing on the homework and they will lose all this experience to deal with the society to you know move on in the society and all so this type of social interaction is also making uh, so much of um, blocks in the students minds next this is not to say that the homework should be abolished okay so all these problems are not simply shown uh, to just abolish in the sense you know just like remove the homework not it is just to remove the homework but it should be limited homework should not be removed no no that is impossible but it should be limited okay limited in the sense should, more homework should not be given only little some homework must be given so the homework should also be creative and interesting so that the child enjoys it okay so when the homework is more creative and interesting of course the child will enjoy it and they will do with so much of interest but if you give you know uh, all the useless questions which are not which don't even come for the exam which are not at all important on all so that might simply you know make the student to lose the interest on that particular subject so just imagine so those teachers who are preparing for tet dsa do not do this when you become teachers and those students who are listening to this class must understand the scenario of the present schooling and uh, try to uh, take the help of your student uh, help of your teachers so if you feel that you are given more homework you can just simply go to the teacher and say no sir no ma'am i cannot do the homework in one day please give me two more three days okay so you can just speak with your teachers you are free to speak with your teachers okay so do not be afraid next we have glossary here reinforce make a feeling or an idea stronger next counterproductive having the opposite effect to the intended next excessive more okay so greater than what seems reasonable next dates exists curriculum the subjects that are included in a course of study next obesity the stage of being very fat precious value or important okay precious time in the sense important time next 
overwhelming very great toil toil in sense hard and unpleasant work okay we can say toiling in the field okay toiling in the field in the sense doing so much of hard work you know bodily physically involving in the work okay so this type of toiling must not be there to the students okay next hinder to make it difficult for somebody to do something okay so these type of problems might occur uh, when homework is more so here we have gone through all the problems that students will get when there is more homework given so students will suffer both physically mentally and socially when there is more homework so when there is more homework that means there is more time to spend the students have to spend more time so when they spend more time on the homework they don't have time to interact or to go out or to play or to enjoy with their family because of this this so their social relationships are blocking their mental abilities are blocking their physical exercise is blocking so students will come up with the different different problems in the future okay because of excessive homework so i hope uh, the government also will find some homework schedule for the students okay the limited um, homework schedule so that's it for this video and before leaving the video don't forget to forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will get all the rest of the units videos through the notification if you subscribe it so that's it for in this video and uh, we shall go through reading a uh, of uh, unit 4 here so that is the theme is environment so what is a man without the beast and uh, don't forget to go through my playlist if you want to uh, go through the videos the classes that are posted in youtube before this video okay so there you will find all the uh, playlists from class 6 to 9 so you can just simply uh, go through them on a single click so that's it for this video so see you all in the next video god bless you take care